What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we're jumping behind the console, we're taking a look at electronics. What do fish look like on side imaging, 2D sonar, down imaging, we'll take a look at some maps, maybe some contour lines, should be a good one. Let's go. All right guys, we got our fancy little recorder down here, so I'll be able to overlay HD video for you. The sun is just getting low enough, so you'll be able to see the second unit over here. Um, as you can see right now, I have two Humminbird. Uh, these are Apex 13s. Uh, the reason I went with Apex is they have the HDMI output and input, so I can actually record HD video from it, so it'll help with these videos right here. So typically how I have this set up, sorry for looking right into the sun. Let me uh, go ahead and turn this. I keep my mapping 2D and uh, down imaging over here. And I run my side imaging over here, which is what you're gonna be seeing. Uh, over here to the right, you see that big white spot? That's a hard spot. So how I've explained this before or in the past uh, the transducer is shooting like a flashlight. It's shooting a beam out to the side for the side imaging. And uh, it, it bounces off whatever it hits and sends the, the readout back. So something like this where it's quite a bit brighter over here to the right. Let's look at this. Got a nice little rock pile over here. Um, see that rock pile right there? Another one right there. So what that is, that is harder bottom. You can see it over here on the 2D sonar. Show it here on the screen. Uh, that is a, a more of a bright readout because that transducer ping, that sonar ping is, is reading that bottom a lot harder than let's say mud um, or clay. You can actually see it down here on 2D too. Look at these fish right here. Uh, see how it's kind of light right here and then it's bright, 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 and then light again. That is that hard spot. So if you're looking to fish shell beds or uh, chunk rock, that sort of stuff, that is what you're looking for. Let's go ahead and go over this point. So typically, I'm going to show you guys the mapping as well. So we're actually here on Watts Bar. I have the Lake Ma Master chip with the contour lines you can see. Uh, right over here, maybe not, <laughs> where'd we go? See over here, there's a big point coming in, but let's go back to side imaging, go over this point and let's look for some, let's look for fish on 2D and side imaging. So right here on the 2D, Uh, see those fish right there sitting right on that break you can see their air bladders right here sitting on that break we'll go ahead and loop back around we'll go across this point oh here we go here we got some bait this is what a bait ball looks like you see this right here let's go back see if we can get it on uh... oh look at the fish on it this is perfect you see that there's the bait ball and then you have fish behind it show you what it looks like compared on 2d so this is perfect so right here right up here we have the bait ball right we have bass right here we have more bass this is what a lot of anglers miss. You see all this out here? They're like, holy cow, there are hundreds of fish. Well, believe it or not, that's air bubbles. Let me zoom out. That is air bubbles and a lot of anglers, you can see it here on, on uh, down imaging, you can see these long streaks going up and down. On 2D, that reads as an arch. Right, that sonar ping that's going straight down goes over and it looks like an arch. Like, holy cow, this place is loaded. So right there, we actually got to see what actual fish look like pushing bait 
And then what, so here we go right here. What, what fish look like pushing bait. Got bass right there. Got the bait ball there. And then over here, we got the, the, the vertical streaks, the air bubbles. This is why I like to run side by side down imaging and 2D to kind of cross reference or cross check what my sonar is telling me. All right guys, loop back around. I'm gonna show you guys on, on the map over here real quick. Kind of like what a main lake point looks like. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Got the dam up here, but right here, this whole area, nice little point. Let's go ahead and zoom out and look for some more. Look at this over here. We'll go, we'll go to that spot next. We'll go idle that and see uh, if there's anything on it. You can see how this point comes way out into this arm. But, uh, so back over here. Let's go over, we're gonna go over this point again, idle a little bit over it, and let's see, um, see what we can see. I usually like to set my, my side imaging width, 100 to 150 feet, that's each side, right? So, You get more detail. Obviously, you see a lot more um, when the narrower that you're scanning. You know, a little 18 inch or 24 inch bass, 24 inch bass isn't little, but when you're scanning 150 feet, it's really little, right? So I usually, if I'm new to a lake, scan really wide, really broad. And then when I really want to dial in an area, I'll come over and I'll go over it maybe just 100 foot or 120 foot just so I get a real clear picture of what's going on. So you can see down here on the uh, on the 2D looks like a ton of fish but that's all air bu bubbles. You can see it over here in the down imaging. Here we go coming up onto the point. Look at that, coming straight up. You can see over here to the left, see the little shadows. Got one little fish down here. You can see it's air bladder. Let's see if we can find some bait up here on the flat. Oh, there it is. So you can see right there, 2D and down imaging what bait looks like. Another bait ball. And then over here on down or on, on side imaging, look at this. Remember I talked about flashlights and shadows right here? See how we can see more detail in the shadow versus what actually is going on right there? Same over here to the left. You can see, you can see that bait. But look at the shadow. That's the that's the telltale sign. Right? Look over here to the right. You can see the shadow, but here's all the bait right here. And you can waypoint that and circle back around and fish it. But right now it's not looking like there's any fish on it. Got some, some chunk rock over here. Look at that on, uh, look at that on down imaging. Bait, 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 bait ball. Here we go. Here's fish on bait down in 40 foot. That's beautiful. Down there, 40 foot. Those fish are down there below the thermocline. Those are fish that are actively feeding. Those are the fish you can get on a jigging spoon, on a swim bait, a flutter spoon, a hair jig, something like that. We are out here in the river. The river is pumping. They got four gates open, lots of current. You can see those fish are out here on that bait ball feeding up. Here's what that bait ball looks like on 2D. Okay, 
Okay, remember I talked about arches and fish? Got a little bit of that down here too. Not looking at fish, look at this right here. Look at this, this strip, right? All the way to the left, all the way to the right. Sometimes those are old road beds. If you're on a bite and you wanna follow that, you can, what I'll do, I'll put a waypoint over here and a waypoint over there and a waypoint on the edge and I can draw like a little trail and, and that way I can label that road bed. But a lot of times those fish will like that harder bottom more than this mud here on the outskirts. Okay, let's go run to the next spot and see if we can find some more fish. Okay guys, I stopped real quick. I wanted to show you this. See this creek channel right here? Creek channel right here. Make sure this is recording. Yep, yeah, got the cursor. See that creek channel? comes right up. So the spot that I'm going to look, I'm going to look closest to where that creek channel comes to the shallower water. That's where I'm going to start looking and then go from there. But I wanted to show you as I was running across, I wanted to show you that creek channel. Now, if you are on a boat that doesn't, ha you don't have the two side-by-side -side units, you can set this unit to have four screens, your map, your 2D, your down and your side. And then if you want to zoom in, you just, two fingers magnifies that specific screen. <laughs> Look at these fish on bait. Here we go on 2D. How awesome is that? This is exactly what fish look like. Right there, that's the bait ball. Here it is on 2D sonar. See these little white specks? That's the fish's air bladders. That's what's registering on the 2D. That's why it's really nice, like I said before, to run that side-by-side -side to see the side-by-side -side and see the archers and the, the, uh, the air bladders. Got a lot of fish down here between 30 and 20 on bottom. See, nothing showing up on down or on side imaging. This is just junk down there, but that's a fish. See that right there? That's a fish, air bladder. Here it is on 2D. That guy right there. Make sure we're recording the screen, yep. I love doing this with you guys. It's, it's just cool to interpret uh, electronics. You know, a lot of guys, they get this stuff, they put it on their boat. They don't actually know, you know, what is what, right? Now this is interesting. I would actually like to fish this to see, but my guess is that is bait glued to the bottom. It kind of looks like, see how it's kind of intermittent? Kind of looks like grass, but that's down in 20 foot. Nothing really showing up on side imaging. show you the map real quick, show you what we're going over. See that point? We came in right here by the creek channel, came in, and then right up, right up the gut, the high spot on this point. fish right here. 
they look like on 2D. Again, nothing on side imaging. Got one more spot I'm gonna run to, guys, I wanna show you. We're gonna run to this next, uh, either this point, got some old waypoints right here on this one, that's a high spot out there close to the river channel. Let's go run there, see if we can find some fish, and we'll wrap it up. So one thing I wanna show you guys, now that we got low light, we got uh, the recorder to show you guys this mapping system. So this is Lake Master Plus. Go ahead and turn off the motor for a second. What is really cool about Lake Master Plus, it's very colorful and it's very uh, easy to adjust. So let me show you. I'm on the map, I hit menu. I come into Hummingbird settings. Depth highlight, I turn it on. So maybe, for instance, tonight, we've seen, we've seen uh, bait fish between 20 and 30. That's where, so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna select 20, let's do 23 feet. Let's go ahead and do five, we'll do 25 foot depth highlight with a plus or minus of five. So that's gonna give us 20 to 30. So what that just did on this entire lake is it highlighted in green that depth range. So now when I pull up to a main lake point, like this guy right here, I can see my depth highlight range. Now for safety, same thing, uh, what water level offset, here on the TVA we get a lot of fluctuation in water. Uh, out west, the Highland Reservoirs, they pull down their lakes sometimes 100, 200 feet, right? So you can sit here and you can drop the level of the water. The easiest way to check that, when you launch, you know, look at your map, if it says it's 10 feet, but your map shows that it's supposed to be 20, you go negative 10 feet. That's the easiest way. Just cross-reference with your, your, uh, your depth and what your map is showing. Let's go back and put this back to uh, just negative one foot. And then the other, the other thing I wanna show you guys right here is your shallow water. I have this turned on and I have it set to four feet. Let me, uh, let me zoom out for you. What that, what that does, especially if I'm on a new fishery, a new body of water, I want to make sure I'm not gonna run aground. I'm not gonna mess my boat up. So you can set that to five foot. You could set it to 10 foot. But you're gonna see now when you go into the backs of a cut, okay, I know that it is, it is four feet here and I know that I have to be, be really careful. So wanted to show you guys that real quick. Now let's get back to idling this high spot. We're gonna go right over here. Where are we at? Here we are. We're gonna go right over here. We're gonna come right up on this guy right here, idle up. We got our depth highlight range, right? That green. We're gonna idle that right up to the top and see if there's uh, fish sitting on top of that hump. We'll get going. You, you typically don't want to use side imaging when you're just sitting still because it's just kind of a blur, just a blob. Typically you want to be three to five mile an hour when you're idling, uh, looking at your side imaging. So out here, we're in 50 foot of water. You can see right there at that, right there at that thermocline, right there at that depth range, you can almost see the thermocline on this down imaging. You see, you can see this line right here at 30 foot. And that's where that bait's been hanging this whole time. Here we go. First, first hard spot with a, either a little isolated rock or a stump. Again, we're in the river. We're in the main river, so there's a lot of debris in the water. So that's why we're not. We're getting a lot of little things here, little particles, a lot of little readouts and stuff, but. You can really see here, you can see that hard line right here. That hard line where that hard rock 
or hard bottom meets the soft bottom. It's really important too when you're side imaging that you're not spinning the whole time because that's taking that transducer and almost smearing it. You wanna make sure that whatever you're doing, you're going straight. So over here, looks like we got an old foundation or something here, right there. See how it's kind of squared off? But over here, this is a ridge. See that? You can almost see the, the spine of it and then the dark shadow behind it. That's, that's a break off. So that's gonna be a high spot with a break off behind it, a ledge. Oh, look at that. That's definitely an old foundation. You see this? Go ahead and waypoint this. So again, you can see here on 2D and down imaging, you can see kind of this, uh, this just random looking floating grass. It's not connected to the bottom. My guess is that is bait fish. It's not in the big balls, kind of spread out. But um, again, I'm glad I can I can record here so you guys can see. I'm kind of moving fast on the screens, but you can see what I'm looking at. Look at this point. Comes way out. See over here, we got a, actually a shallow spot marked. If we were new to this lake, we would know that that's only five foot. We're out here in the main river. Coming up on this point. It's so crazy how accurate these maps are. I mean, look at this map. Literally coming right up on this point that that sticks way out. And you can see it on side imaging, the hard bottom here. Go ahead and bump this out to 150 foot. School fish again, right here in 30. You can see them here on 2D. See them here down here on, on down imaging. But that seems to be the deal, guys. 20 to 30, the bait is stacked, and that is 100%. If I was coming out tomorrow, that would be my pattern. I would set my depth highlight range to 20 to 30, and I would run all these main lake points uh, looking, for, looking for these fish, looking for the active fish. You know, you guys saw the arches on the bait balls, the arches below the bait balls. Those are fish actively feeding on bait. This time of year, that is what it's all about. It's all about finding the bait. You find the bait, you will find the bass. And when you can find them schooled up, I mean, look at them down here. When you can find them schooled up, it can be lights out. Guys, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Got a beautiful moon, almost a full moon tonight. But um, I'm glad I could take you guys along, show you some of uh, electronics, show you kind of what we're looking at, what we're looking for, what things look like. But again, just picture that sonar beam. Side imaging down a flashlight, right? If you're out at night and you shine a flashlight, there's a bright readout with whatever you hit with the light, and there's an opposite, typically more detailed shadow, right? So a lot of times when you're doing side, side imaging, you're looking at stomp, uh, stumps or laydowns, you're gonna see just kind of a, a bright kind of a line, but behind it, you'll see the dark streaks, the different branches and stuff, and you'll get a lot more, um, <laughs> look, look at these, you'll get a lot more uh, detail on the shadows. But guys, glad we could find those, uh, those fish for you. Uh, we checked, what, one, two, three different spots. We found fish, bait fish on all three spots. But um, spend a lot of time along, uh, around behind your electronics this time of year. Keep your eyes peeled for bass blowing up. You know, you come up to some of these high spots. They might be blown up on the surface. Go back down. Pay attention. Uh, keep your eyes peeled, but spend a lot of time behind your electronics. Now you kind of know what to look for and you guys will have more success 
right now. Guys, like I said, if you have any questions, leave those down below in the comment section. I will try to get to those as soon as possible. As always, guys, we appreciate you. If you learned something from this video, or you like this video, or you wanna see more electronics videos, give us a thumb up, thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.